How's it going guys? I'm Connor from Running Warehouse. I'm here with Danny Orr, the general manager of performance running at New Balance. And Danny, we finally have the racing flat that I've been asking for. <laughs> We've got a shoe that's low to the ground. It's fast. It's got a carbon fiber plate and that super foam setup. Really, this is gonna be a next generation 5K racing shoe. Lay it down. What do we have here? What was the inspiration behind this? I was gonna say, and all of that for 150 bucks? Woo! We can basically end now, right? Um, you know, it's awesome to be sitting here talking to you about this shoe because yourself as a consumer and the type of consumer that comes to the Running Warehouse website and, and store is exactly who was in the bullseye for this type of product for us. You know, we, um, we've had so many people come to us asking what happened to the 1400, you know, where's that gone? And there's so much about this, this shoe was inspired by that original 1400, that more traditional kind of racing shoe that, that people used to run marathons in, you know, not that long ago. And we're now pitching this as a 5K, 10K half marathon shoe. To your point, it has all the technology in it. It has all the bells and whistles. We're incorporating our, our high-end fuel cell foams. We're utilizing Energy Arc, which is our, our midsole technology story within fuel cell. It's super calm because it's got a carbon plate in it. So yeah, to your point, there's a ton going on here within, you know, something that is fairly low to the ground, fairly sleek, and almost the heights are fairly traditional with all these special materials included. Now we're seeing stack heights getting larger and larger, especially in shoes like the RC Elite V2 that are specifically built for the marathon. But the Pacer is gonna be built for the 5K, it's gonna be lower, and it still features that extremely responsive fuel cell compound. Is this gonna be the same compound that we see in the RC Elite? Yeah, you know, I think the one thing I would also say is that, yeah, 5K, people are gonna love running a 5K in this shoe, but through our testing and through our wear testers, we really think that 10K all the way up to the half marathon is really the range here. You know, we're expecting this type of solution to really work for a ton of runners across all of those distances. And also for anybody that just wants to go back a little bit to where we previously were in terms of setups. In relation to the compound that you asked about and, and mentioned, again, you know, a little bit, a little bit different to what's in the, in the um, RC Elite right now. And again, as we try and get a little bit closer to the ground, the key piece for us is to, even though we go lower, maximizing the energy return and ensuring that the shoe doesn't bottoming out. So while it's still within the fuel cell suite of foams, it has a maximum energy return value that we have as a brand. Um, it's just a little bit denser and therefore is gonna give just a little bit more energy return in a lower stack height, as well as just ensure that the shoe doesn't bottom out overall overall when you're running at really high speeds. Well, as a runner who focuses a little bit more on the 5K, I think that's where it's gonna find a spot in my lineup, but I could definitely see going up to the 10K, potentially even the half marathon if you're looking for something a little bit closer to the ground and maybe a little bit more aggressive to really help with that turnover. But the foam is only gonna be one part of the shoe. We also gotta talk about the carbon fiber plate. It's the hot topic right now, and we haven't really seen it used in a very sleek package like we're seeing here in the Pacer. Can you talk about the plate setup, how it might be similar to some of the other shoes on the market, and of course, that new Energy Arc design? Yeah, I was gonna say, you know, it incorporates our new Energy Arc technology to maximize energy storage and return. The, the way Energy Arc works is that there's a canvas shape to the plate and a void in the midsole that allows the midsole and the plate to deform into that space and in doing so, maximize that storage and energy return. Obviously the position is slightly different, right? Because we don't have that same level of real estate that you would have in a bigger, thicker midsole shoe like the RC Elite. So it's a little bit closer to the foot and a little bit closer to the road in the forefoot just to make sure that we can maximize that swoop even in the small amount of um, real estate that we have in a midsole that is this thin. And I'm curious, with a carbon fiber plate, you always hear about being a little bit more stiff, being a little bit more aggressive. And I especially think in those later stages of the race, when you're looking to pick up the pace, kind of kick through to the finish line, do you feel like this setup is gonna be perfect for competitive athletes looking for a fast finishing kick? Yeah, you know, it kind of goes back to the 5280 again for us, right? We, with all the work that we did analyzing that shoe and, and speaking with athletes and capturing data, 
It's almost like the last 500 meters were the thing that mattered the most. And people didn't seem to want to care that much about the start, but we're really, really focused on that finish. And I think this lines up perfectly for that. It's a pretty aggressive setup. It's a pretty stiff shoe with maximum energy return from the soft foam. But I definitely think that last 500 meters is where the Super Comp Pesa is going to come into its own. Well, moving on down to the outsole, of course, you're going to see that carbon fiber plate poking out, but we've also got some strategic rubber, a lot of exposed foam. Can you tell us about the outsole setup? Yeah, you know, at this point, it's about walking a super fine line, but by maintaining a weight goal that you've got to, because you know that weight has a role to play in terms of running performance, as well as making sure that the, the shoe has the necessary durability it needs for that person to be able to use it across multiple distances, multiple training runs, and multiple races. So it's definitely pretty deconstructed from a rubber standpoint. We did a lot of work overlaying pressure patterns on top of the shoe to really decide where we could cut out the small little elements of rubber that were adding to the, the weight gains in the shoe. And we've really got it down to the bare minimum because rubber is such a big component in relation to weight on any shoe, any training or racing shoe. Well, and I keep hearing you use that buzzword weight. And I think a lot of people are gonna ask, what is gonna be the weight of this shoe and what was gonna be the target goal coming into it? Yeah, what was most important for us is that the number had a six in the front. So it depends what size you're, you're obviously gonna be wearing, but the key size for us where we do all our measurements is that it has a six in the front. Perfect, that's gonna be plenty light for a competitive racer. And I think it's gonna be a big part of the story of this shoe. And to finish off that weight story, keep weight as light as possible, we're gonna talk about the upper. Very breathable, very thin, but again, you always play that fine line of not going too thin. You wanna be able to have your foot nice and locked in on race day. Can you tell us about the upper and what's gonna be the setup in this shoe? Yeah, you're 100% right. You know, we want that foot locked onto that fuel cell platform so that that user can get the maximum energy return out of the energy arc setup, right? So we need to make sure that we are maintaining enough of that so that the performance of this shoe really speaks for itself. But outside of that, Again, I'm gonna make the weight comment, right? We wanna make sure that we are in a single layer environment with a thinner textile as we can possibly have, maximizing breathability and just giving it just enough so that, that again, that person's able to race and train in the shoe as they want to, um, while not adding anything additional that isn't necessary at this point, particularly as this, is, this shoe's a rocket ship, right? That's what it's about. Well, Danny, I am so excited for the new SC Pacer. This is a shoe that I've been asking for forever, and we're seeing the racing world move completely to a new space. Carbon fiber plates and super foams have changed the game, and now New Balance has a premier innovative product that are gonna lead the space in that 5K to 10K, and then potentially up to the half marathon. A truly unique shoe that's gonna be light, fast, and has that traditional feel in a next generation package. If you're looking to get the New Balance Fuel Cell SC Pacer on your feet, it's available now. You can find it here at Running Warehouse.